Simple secret number one is passion. Howard Schultz is the founder of Starbucks. I, he gave me a lot of time for the book. And he said, when you're around people who share a collective passion around a common purpose, there is no telling what you can accomplish. But understand something. With Howard Schultz, the passion is not in the coffee. It is not in the mocha frappuccino or the green tea chai latte or whatever creation they've got. Has anybody tried that thing? <laughs> is it any good? It, I'm, I'm with you. You liked it? Okay, all right. <laughs> Something for everybody. I heard the other day there are 55,000 different combinations. Somebody's got to tell the guy, stop. <laughs> enough <laughs> is enough. But his passion is not in the coffee. It is in creating a workplace that treats people with dignity and respect. That is the common theme that he repeats consistently. That's what he's passionate about, and that's his common message. Let's take somebody else like... Financial planner Susie Orman. How many of you know her? Okay. I interviewed her a couple of times on television and a couple of times for this book. She is abundantly passionate. When the television lights go off, she's still passionate about what she does and her content. But she is not passionate about irrevocable trusts. That's not what gets her fired up. She is passionate about helping couples. Avoid the crushing financial debt that caused so much pain for her and her family as they were growing up. So you need to identify what you're passionate about, and that's the message you need to convey. A guy like Donald Trump is passionate about building buildings, correct? But Trump said, if you don't have passion, then you don't have energy. And without energy, you have nothing. And that's the point about being passionate. Because with passion comes energy, enthusiasm, excitement, all of those qualities that we like to see in you as a person. And if we like you, we are more likely to do business with you. So one of the first things that I work with when, we, when I meet clients for the first time is let's identify what you're really passionate about. And more often than not, it's not the widget. It's not the product itself. It's what that product can do for your customers.